Every girl has a slightly different level of communication, okay? So some girls will text a lot. The girls that try to blow up your phone and text you a lot, my advice is not responding instantly, okay? Because if she texts you, you respond instantly, then she texts you back and then you text her back. It's like the text messaging sequence never ends. I'm busy throughout my day. So even if the girl texts me once and I happen to be free, I don't mind responding because like I may not have my phone on me and able to even check my phone to text her for the next couple hours. So I actually don't have a problem with responding relatively quick. It just depends on whether or not she catches me at a good time. So if the girl starts texting me, I'll text back, but if then she texts me again, I'm busy at work, she may not hear from me for three, four, five, six hours because I'm just like doing my own thing. It's very hard to be able to even text me all day, every day. I, I pretty much make it impossible to do so, which is what I recommend for you guys. Be busy with your shit, man. And that's another reason why I like to send the voice messages because you won't hear from me for the whole day. And then if I just text later on, hey, sorry, was busy at work, like we're hardly communicating. If I send a 30 to 60 second voice message later on, at least I could still communicate a lot that's going throughout my day that would have happened anyway through a text combo the whole day. So if we don't text it all the whole day, I'd rather later on in the evening say, hey, what's going on? I saw your message earlier, sorry, I was like really busy with work. Anyway, I, I literally just wrapped up my work day. It was an awesome day, actually. I had a couple, a couple of my guys from the team in the office today cranked out a bunch of videos with my editor. I'll literally just talk about what happened in my day. So what, you guys could talk about whatever happened in your day. Cranked out a bunch of videos with my editor and um, actually just wrapped up a live call with a bunch of clients. It was fucking awesome, honestly. I'm, I'm in like a really good social flow right now. So I'm about to go hit the gym and then I'm gonna hit the sauna, cook up some dinner, and then probably just like study and, and do some reading before, before I close out my day. So. You know, pretty productive day. Yeah, I don't know. That was my Monday. What, what's up with you? How was your How was your Monday? How was your weekend, by the way? Did you Did you go out? Did you do any anything fun? Like, like what's going on with you? What's up? It's literally just me updating my day, like literally talking about my day or talking about my weekend, and then asking her like what she had going on, which is what you're gonna do through text message anyway. If you're texting the girl all day every day, she's gonna be like, Hey, what's up? How's your day going? How's your Monday going? Oh, it's good. I'm actually about to head to the gym. What are you up to? And the girl's gonna say, yeah, I'm over here. I'm doing this and that. I got a flat tire. Oh shit, that sucks. Damn, like th that f Monday mornings for you. I know, right? F my life. Well, well, anyway, I'm going into class now. I'll text you after. Okay, sounds good. Talk soon. And then she texts you like, hey, what's up? How was your thing? That, dude. I don't even do that shit with my girlfriend, man. You're gonna go insane doing that shit long term. Think about that whole texting sequence I just did and analyze was more communicated through that back and forth texting or that one voice message I actually just sent. The girl has a better understanding of who I am and what I did in the day just from one message versus all of that bullshit. The thing is though, guys, is like the girls will do the texting bullshit with you if you let them. They don't know any better. The girl can't think ahead and think, if we keep going with this texting sequence in three days, I'm gonna be sick of this guy. She doesn't think like that. She's just in the moment doing what feels good until it doesn't feel good anymore. And when the texting doesn't feel good anymore, it's over and then she's like pulling back and you're like, why is she going cold? I thought it was good. Here's one other tip I'll do. I'll send that voice message. Sometimes the girls will text back. Sometimes actually the girls will send voice messages back, which is great. Girl sends a voice message back. So what I'll say is something like, acknowledge what you said, talk about it, talk, talk, talk. Anyway, I'm actually getting ready for bed. So I'm gonna do my nighttime routine and then read and I'm probably just gonna knock out cause I got a really early start tomorrow. I'm actually doing this like 6 a.m. hot yoga class, which I'm like souped about. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed, but um, I'm glad you had a good day. Let's catch up sometime soon. I don't know what your week's looking like, but maybe we can hop on a quick phone call at some point and, and just catch up. I'll send that at the end of the voice message. Anyway, I don't know what your week's looking like, but maybe at some point we could set up a quick phone call just to catch up and vibe. I'll do this on dating apps too. If you're going back and forth with a girl, I'll just start sending voice messages on the dating app and then she'll respond. And then at some point I'll be like, anyway, you know, I don't know what your schedule is looking like for the week, but maybe we could set up a phone call at some point. It's not uncommon that the girl says, yeah, that sounds good. Here's my number. Or yeah, that sounds good. I'd be down for a phone call. Okay, cool. What's your number? You know, or if you're already texting the girl, the girl will be like, yeah, that should work. I'm free, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool, yeah, I guess Thursday could work, maybe in the afternoon, evening. I do voice messages, I hint at the idea of phone call, and then I move towards phone call. And then on the phone call, I vibe, we have a couple minutes back and forth, and then I'm moving towards date. So yeah, the, the voice calls, I don't know, once to twice a week. If we're gonna text or check in with each other two to four times a week, and then once a week meet up, it can increase as you guys get to know each other more. If you guys like enjoy talking on the phone, I've had girls that like wanna talk more on the phone because we built up the vibe.
I'm gonna get back to the video in one second, but really quickly, if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one to implement any of the concepts I talk about in any one of my videos, click the link in the description, fill out the application for an opportunity to actually work with me personally to accomplish your goals with women in dating. Link is in the description. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Here's another example of a voice message I sent. This was an online dating. This was a girl I had already talked to a little bit and we already had a phone call. And then like a couple days went by, I sent this voice message because it was just something that happened in my day that I thought was funny and relevant. So I was just, again, talking about my day and then I checked in with her. So she texted me at some point in the day saying, hey, what's up, how are you? I texted her back like four hours later when I was leaving the gym. I was like, hey, what's going on? How's your day going? Happy Wednesday. I'll always say happy blank day, whatever day it is. I'm like, hey, what's up? Happy Wednesday, happy Friday, happy Monday, happy Sunday, whatever it is. I just, I say that. Hey, what's going on? Happy Wednesday. I'm actually just walking out of the gym. I just crushed this workout, honestly. But um, all's well, I hope your day's going good too. Funny thing actually just happened recently. I was literally just walking out of the gym and the gym's connected to this mall plaza area so as i was walking past mcdonald's this dude was there and he was like hey man like could you spare a couple bucks for um for some food and you know i had no problem doing it honestly because like i don't mind you know so i was like yeah dude i got you what do you need i didn't want to give him money that's that's what it, i want to give him money but i was down to like buy him like the mcdonald's shit because i didn't know if he was gonna like use it for drugs or whatever so i was like yeah dude i got you what do you want and he was like honestly just like a mcchicken and i was like cool dude let's go i actually walked with him into mcdonald's and when we got there, I just told him, I was like, yo, dude, like order like whatever you want. The moment I told the guy, like, yeah, order whatever you want, this dude starts going off. He ordered two McChicken meals. He got a sundae, he got two cookies, and he got like three large fries. Literally, as he was ordering that, I started like looking around. I thought it was a joke, honestly. So as he was ordering, I, like I was paying attention to him, but I started like looking around, thinking that there was honestly like a camera crew around. But there was literally no camera crew. I just thought it was funny. But anyway, long story short, I literally just spent like 27 bucks on this dude at McDonald's. I don't know. I guess I, I felt good. I felt good about doing it either way. So you know what it is? Like my dad used to make food for the homeless. I remember because my dad, when I was young, my dad, rest in peace, he, he commuted into New York a lot. And I would remember in the early mornings before he would go into work, because he would take me into the office sometimes, he would make like five or six sandwiches, like literally like turkey, mustard, cheese sandwiches. And then on the commute in, this is back when there was a lot of homeless people by the tunnel on the, on the commute in, he would literally just start handing out sandwiches on the way in. And I just have that memory in the back of my mind. So anytime I have an opportunity now, I guess to like help out somebody in need, cause you know, I, I could take care of it financially. Like, I don't know, I, I don't mind doing it. I almost feel like more connected to my dad when I do it, but it made me feel good. So anyway, this was a really long story. I didn't mean, I didn't mean for it to go this long, but um, yeah, that's, that's how my Monday is going. What's up with you? How's your day going? If you're still listening and you made it this long, I'm curious, how's your day going? Now look, some of you guys may be like, damn dude, that voice message was like really long. And yeah, it was really long. I've sent girls three minute, four minute voice messages, but I don't have to do any other communication for the day. I really don't. Like if the girl's into you and she's vibing with me and we've had some back and forth, I'll send that whole f message. Now look, at the end of it, I'm like, yeah, so like I get that this voice message went like hella fuck long, but blah, 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 blah. Like I, I did that acknowledgement, which makes it okay, honestly. I've noticed that it actually really works. If you can keep the vibe and the charisma up while you're sending the message, like there's a lot in that message. There was no bragging, but I can I conveyed like a lot. Like obviously I'm getting productive day done. The girl got to learn a little bit about me as a person. I take care of people. I'm a caring dude, confident dude. It demonstrated a lot of things. Like the girl will feel more connected to me after hearing that whole message, if she already likes me. I'm not gonna send that as an opening message to a stranger but that would be sent to a girl that I've been talking to, okay? And that gives her a lot of insight into my day, into my life, into my mindset, into my past. It's powerful. It really is powerful. It's way more powerful than any back and forth text sequence could, could have. So it's almost a phone call in itself. Now, if you're not that confident, then don't send a crazy long voice message. You could start off with something very short and sweet. Hey, what's going on? Happy Monday. I hope all is well. I actually just walked out of the gym. I had a killer workout and I'm going home just to cook up some dinner and really just have like a, a relaxing Monday evening. I had kind of like a hectic weekend, so I'm just kind of like recharging, getting ready for the rest of the work week. So what's up with you? How was your Monday or how was your weekend? Do you do anything fun? Like what's up? Both of them just have like a different vibe to them. One of them was more of a story and it was more get to know yourself. The other one was kind of just checking in. Which one will I send? Depends on my vibe. Depends on what happened. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. You don't need to force a, a five minute voice memo. Five minutes kind of long. Two minutes would probably be like the cutoff, maybe three minutes if you if you got a really good story. If you have like one, two, three of these stories, like you could just use the same stories if you wanted to. I mean, honestly, I don't really do that. I, I pretty much just tell it like it is, but 
you can do that, you know? I just talk about what's going on in my daily routine. Cause like my daily routine is filled with activities that would be attractive to a girl that demonstrate I have my life on point. I have my discipline on point. I'm building myself. I'm financially stable. I'm mentally stable. I'm doing things throughout my day that are attractive that indicate like I'm, I'm on the trajectory of a high value man. I'm not saying, hey, what's up? How you doing? Damn, I'm, I'm hungover as fuck. Like I can't even move. I'm just gonna smoke a blunt and chill and like order in some junk food. And like, it's gonna be like the most unproductive Sunday of my life. Yeah, what's up? And it's okay to feel down. It's okay to like feel lazy, but you gotta frame things the right way. So as long as you're talking about your day in a positive, optimistic light, it, it should be pretty effective. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in implementing any of the concepts taught in this video, I have a brand new coaching program where you can actually work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to analyze your communication, your pickup skills, your game, and assess where you're at, point out your blind spots, your sticking points, show you the step-by-step -step process as well to take you from where you're at right now to accomplishing your goals with women and dating. Click the link in the description, fill out that application, pick out a day and a time for that consultation call, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Until next time, Coach Kyle signing out. Peace out, guys.